Okay, technically these aren't frozen waves, but rather the culmination of the months crashing and spraying of the waves. This wave buildup was conveniently zambonied by recent melts, followed by rain and deep freezes. As far as naturally occurring skate parks, it does not get much better than this. I scouted this on foot a day prior when it was a glossy, frozen, rippling tidal wave. Now there is about an inch of snow, but I know it's all ice below. I'm never fully confident that any stride will continue as planned, though. On the top, I find a drop that creeps me out enough that I abandon my explorations and turn tail with no regret. Splooshing into Lake Ontario with my skates on could not have a positive outcome. When in doubt, chicken out, my friends. The next day was windy and I hoped the hills had been buffed and hardened in the dropping temperatures. On arrival, I could indeed see much more of the frozen hill surfaces and the rink at the base of the hill was near perfect. The face had changed, but the overall structure was familiar. Plummeting straight down the face of the steeper hill was even faster, but the ice below no harder, except where the rib cage landed. I would take this little hill from a more respectful angle in later runs. I've cut three of my smoother continuous lines from this session, each one is no more than a minute. On this first run I attempt to iron out the sections that I am already familiar with. I'd actually like to skate this thing, not just revert to the old dash and slide. On this line too, I explore beyond the spot that made me nervous yesterday. There was even more ice past this point, but I again got the what if you fall chills, and I knew I'd found my set point. I skated back around the ice caldera and across the now familiar spine of the ice wall of 2014. My final line is much similar to the one prior. I'm beginning to understand the landscape below, so there is more skating and less running. It's also very helpful that I know exactly where I want to skate to. Having a chosen route means I'm free to enjoy the components of the line. So that was my first Lake Ontario skating experience, and small though my skate park was, it was a hell of a rush. I hope you are getting your skate on wherever you are. Whether it's inline or ice, never let a week go without feeling the hardcore buzz of a flow.